Bailey over. He's been tremendous this year. No home runs allowed. Maybe the biggest number for him. And not allowing a whole lot of base runners. You see the whip there. Very good. Strikeouts, but also pitching deeper in the game. Seven innings in his last start. Only needed 91 pitches. So you expect him to go out there and continue doing what he's doing. Stepping up to the plate is Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh. First pitch is lined to left field, back towards the wall, and gone. First pitch of the ball game is going to leave the yard off the bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. What a way to start the ball game. Line drive just over the left field fence, and Fernando touches them all. Here is Jake Cronenworth. Change up to center, playable. Nick Gordon back a step, and now in, he'll call and catch. 1-0 San Diego, base is empty, one down, and here comes Manny Machado, DHing today. And the 2-2 pitch, fly ball, right center field. Gordon with the play, drifting back into deep right center near the track. And grabs it for out number two. And here's Juan Soto. Infield played to pull, the 3-2 pitch. Ground ball, this might get up the middle, and it does. Base hit for Juan Soto. He rounds first hard. He's going to think about two. He's going for two. Here comes the throw. He's going to be safe. Hustle double for Juan Soto. There it is, turning it on. And now watch, the Scorpion. Oh, just stuck in the mud. Yeah, hope he's okay, looks to be okay. Here's Xander Bogarts with a runner in scoring position now. Fly ball, center field. Gordon back with room to end it. Couple of extra base hits. Tatis, a homer on the first pitch of the game, and it's one to nothing. 36-year-old, second at target field, Fifth start career against these twins. Hugh Darvish to face Byron Buxton here in the bottom half of the first inning. Padres with a 1 0 lead. On the ground to short. Bogarts a step to his right for out number one. One up, one down. That'll bring up Max Kepler. 2 2. Chopper right side to Jake Cronenworth. He charges it, takes a step, touches first base. Quickly two away. Two up, two down. That'll bring up Carlos Correa. Darvish with the 2-2, swung on. Foul tip held on by Austin Nola. Correa down on strikes. First strike out of the afternoon for you, Darvish, and a 1-2-3 inning to retire the Twins in order. Alex Kirilov leading things off for the Twins. Darvish is walking about three batters per nine, not giving up many hits. Ground ball sharply right side, base hit right center. Another sweet swing from Alex Kirilov. That's a leadoff knock to start the second, and the tying run is on for Jorge Polanco. Polanco short center. Grisham coming in, and that'll flop in for a base hit. And the Twins with a pair of singles have something started here in the second inning. Now two on, nobody out, down one. And let's see how the Twins play it now with Nick Gordon coming up. High fly to left, easy play for Soto. One away. And now Farmer. Runners lead, and the 0-1 inside. That clipped him. It hit him. And Farmer got hit. Thankfully, that was low on his body. And so now the bases are loaded. And here comes Joey Gallo. And the Twins have been dreadful with the bases loaded. Four hits and 28 at bats this year, and no extra base hits. Only four hits, and they've all been singles. Tying run at third. Bases loaded, one out, bottom two, and the 3 1 is outside. He walked him, ball four. Kirilov scores. This is a 1 1 game. 1 to 1 as we move to the top of the fourth inning as Manny Machado leads it off. Driven to right center field. This ball is back towards the wall and off the big wall in right center. Machado jogs into second base. Got himself a leadoff double to begin the fourth inning. High up on that right field fence. Starting to see that right center field stroke from Manny Machado pretty consistently. Manny standing on second with no outs here in the top of the fourth inning. That'll bring up Juan Soto. This was one of my keys. Get on for Soto. So he drives him in with one swing, puts two on the board. Fouls this one painfully off himself. And obviously misses the shin guard, right? Happens every time. He is in uh, definite pain. Uh, the training staff out there to try to help Juan get himself back into the batter's box. He gets a pat on the back. Bob Melvin is going to head back over to the dugout. Machado at second and a grounder off the pitcher, kicks in the shallow left center. Here comes Machado around. He will score without a problem. Soto to second with another double. So off the pitcher, it kicks out to shallow left. And Soto gets his second double, drives in a run, and the Padres take a 2 1 lead. And now two down here is Kyle Farmer. For a guy who's really been struggling, I always tell yourself you're just one good swing away. A high fly to left field. He has hit it well. And he has tied the game. Quite upper deck home run off the bat of Farmer on a hanging breaking ball. And Twins with one swing of the bat, they've tied it up 2-2. Two -two. 
Uh, Torrey Hunter had that great line. A hangy breaking ball is a gift from the gods, yeah. right? And that's what that one was to Farmer in a 2-2 game. You see a Bailey over kind of bounced back here, gave up the back-to-back -back doubles in the top of the fourth. A tie game as Rugnet Odor leads it off here in the fifth. And turns on this, sends it down the right field line, deep far, and that ball is gone. Rugnet Odor gets his first home run in a Padres uniform and puts San Diego on top 3-2. Well, Odor getting back-to-back -back starts for the first time in a Padres uniform, and he's gone deep today. One away. Top of the order, here comes Fernando Tatis. Line into left field. Fernando out of the box quickly. Might turn it first, but he'll hold on with his second hit. This one's a single with one away. Wild pitch advances now in scoring position. Ball in the dirt, advancement 90 feet. Changes. How are you going to go about Manny Machado here? Two and two to Machado. Gordon over to the gap. Oh, what a catch to end the inning. Nick Gordon saved a run with a diving catch in the right center field. Crowd enjoys that. Two down. Batter be Nick Gordon. Fights it off on the ground to short. Bogarts on the run and in time. Another one, two, three inning for Darvish. who's retired seven in a row. It's three, two, San Diego. And Honeywell into the game after six from you, Darvish. Well, we saw him last night in relief of Seth Lugo. Retired all three batters he faced on eight pitches. He's now scoreless in 10 of his 15 outings this season for the right-hander. Now a ground ball single hit batter and another walk, and they're loaded up with Kepler coming to the plate. Down a run, the Twins with a great chance to take the lead. Ground ball hit right to the shortstop. And the Twins will get the tying run. Kepler reaching on a fielder's choice. Coming in from third is Gallo. And what should have been a double play is not. And the Twins, as a result, get the tying run. We've got a pitching change. And as Honeywell comes off the mound, he's barking at home plate umpire Brock Ballou. Tied at three. Twins trying to take the lead with Correa hitting next. Game just keeps giving you chances, doesn't it? And the struggles he's had all year, he's up there again in a big spot. Tie game late, a chance to put the Twins ahead. That's a fair ball down the line. Jeffers scores. Taylor flying around third. He will score. And Correa puts the Twins in front with a two out double. And the Boos turn to cheers. Brock Stewart. On for Rocco Baldelli. First batter that he's going to be facing is Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And uh, the oh. open umpire. They have just ejected Bob Melvin. Throwing out Bob Melvin, not happy about that last call. And now Bob is going to go out and get in Brock Ballou's face and have a few words nose to nose, Tony. He's ejected Bob Melvin with not before Bob Melvin gave him an earful before walking off. One down, Fernando still at first base. Batter's now Manny Machado. A bullet to center. Taylor dives and makes another great catch. Nice play by Michael A. Taylor, who stayed in the ball game after pinch running for Max Kepler. Taylor took over in center field. Jorge Lopez will try to save it for the Twins. Two down, and now Nelson Cruz bats for the second time in this series. Now the one-two pitch. He struck him out swinging. And the Twins win the game and take the series over the Padres. Lopez strikes out Cruz, a 1-2-3 ninth. And the Twins win their first series here in May.